got that one right for 64,000. Now you got 125,000 dollars. I have an inkling, but I think I'm going to phone a friend. I think it's the Boston Red Sox, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go with Detroit Tigers. And you got it right for 64,000 dollars. Join us from New York for who wants to be a millionaire. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Thursday night of the Wants to Be a Millionaire. Last night, Jane Henderson from Westchester, Pennsylvania, got into the hot seat. to get stumped on, you know, that one question that kind of stumped everybody at one time or another during their stack. On the television series, Magnum P.I., Thomas Magnum usually wears the baseball hat of what team? That was the question. Well, after using two lifelines, she finally gave the right answer, and that was only after going against what her photo friend said. But you know the answer all the time. I had a pretty good sense, but I just didn't trust my instincts. Well, yeah, got to trust those instincts, Jane. Anyway, 64,000, but now we're at a lifeline. And incidentally, here is an official Detroit Tigers hat. <laughs> Wish I could put Magnum in it, but I can't. You'll take it anyway, huh? Thank you, Thank you very much. Now, uh, sometimes uh, you think about a situation that's upcoming in your life. She called and said, why don't you just send me the check? I, I don't want to go back. <laughs> this time you came with a, another friend? Yes. Eileen, hi, Eileen. Hi. How you doing? You work at the same software company down there in Pennsylvania that you work at? No, a competitor, actually. No kidding. Hanging around with the company. <laughs> you know, we don't know much about you. You're an attractive woman. Thank you very much. Slightly mysterious. Enigmatic. Maybe that's why you're so attractive. You're mysterious. <laughs> Keep it like that. All right, Jane. You have won uh, 64000 We are four One million dollars. Wouldn't that be great? But you have no lifelines left. But that shouldn't stop you. Play along now with Jane, log on to abc.com, click on the Enhanced TV logo, and play against everybody at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. Jane, set to go? Yes. Ready, audience? Why don't we do it? Let's play. Want to be a millionaire. Okay, we're going for $125,000 here, and here it is. In exchange for being released from her movie studio contract, who allowed her wedding to be filmed and released? Was it Marilyn Monroe, Grace Kelly, Doris Day? The story made headlines that I promised myself in the strategizing that I was doing that I was going to go for it. And now that I have a hat as well, it's that much more even if I walk out of here with 32. So my answer on this is going to be B, Grace Kelly. Any reason why you're picking Grace Kelly? Well, her wedding was certainly very filmed. And um, it was a big wedding. Final answer. Yes. She just won 125. That's 125,000. Now going for a quarter million, three away from one million dollars.
and the attractive but mysterious Jane Henderson <laughs> win a quarter of a million dollars without any lifelines to help her. Here it is for 250000 When it was first written, what was the title of the classic song, Happy Birthday to You? It's a fine day for fun. Good morning to all. God's blessing for you. Tomorrow is yours. God's blessing for you. What the heck? What's 93,000? You, obviously, nothing. <laughs> But she was attractive, and she was mysterious. It's just that she didn't get it right. Right now, we have 10 new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. And they are Debbie Eldridge, Opelika, Alabama. Greg White, Fresno, California. Fred Shapiro, New Haven, Connecticut. Charles Polk, Bath, Pennsylvania. Julia Thomas, Delbyville, Kentucky. Andrea Reynolds, Madison, New Jersey. Chris Winnington, Cupertino, California. Michael Simon, Chicago Heights, Illinois. Johnny White, Watertown, Massachusetts. And Scott Goodman, Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay, everybody, nice to have uh, you with us. Here's how it works uh, now. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thank you very much. Here comes the question. Put these TV high school dramas in the order they first debuted, starting with the earliest. Beverly Hills 90210, Fame, My So-Called Life, Head of the Class. Hey everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, and it was Fame. And then Head of the Class, Beverly Hills 90210, and then my so-called life. That's the right order. Who got it right in the fastest time? The winner, Julia Thomas. Deep cleans two ways. Deep down into pores dissolve. 
dissolving dirt. Plus, it gets rid of skin dulling residue. It's refreshing. It's cool. It's the deepest feeling clean. Neutrogena Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. Dream of summer nights aglow with the fire of one carat diamond earring dependent. 14 carat gold gemstone and more. The J.C. Penny Diamond and Gemstone Sale. Catch it before it's gone. Sunday on the wonderful world of Disney. They came. I want a piece of these guys. They saw. Bring it on. They kicked a little. Oh, my, what a hit. Emilio Estevez and Joshua Jackson. Oh, no. The Mighty Ducks. ABC Sunday at 7, 6 Central. from Shelbyville, Kentucky, in the hot seat right now. She is a, a guidance counselor at a middle school there. Nice to have you here, Julia. Thank you, Reed. There was a time when, you know, we couldn't find women uh, in that seat, and then suddenly, here they all are. Nice to have you. Thank you. Um, so you teach, uh, you know, you're a counselor down there at the school, yeah. and your husband is the teacher. Mark, hi, Mark, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Nice to have you here. What, what grade do you teach? Currently, I'm sixth grade math and science teacher. Good. Now, as I understand it, both of you tried to... Uh, get into that qualifying round via the telephone. Yes, sir. And how far did you get? I didn't make it as far. Only the second question was all. The second phone question. Uh-huh. But every day you call? Well, yes. <laughs> I had to get up there. Yeah, sure. And then when did you find out? Where were you? Actually, my husband and I were at Churchill Downs, home of the Kentucky Derby, um, at the racetrack. A little gambling, huh? Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry, we interrupted your uh, <laughs> your bet there on the Quinella, whatever it is. It, it was actually at the end of a race, um, and we got the phone call there. Well, that's great. That's almost like winning one of those races. Actually, it was. We had had a bad day, so it was good. And what they what they have is their five year old daughter who plays me at home to get them in the groove, right? She actually has helped us practice. Yes, she's Mark's daughter, and when she's with us on the weekend, um, she turns into Regis to help mm. prepare me for the show. Do you do a good job? Yes, she does. Uh, her favorite question, I think, is, Julia, what is the opposite of hot? She gives me four choices in there. You know, that's a good question. Can I write that down? <laughs> <laughs> you might and, need to ask her. And you first. have a, uh, th this is funny, because everybody's got a little signal that they give a friend of what have you on, uh, on TV. You have a secret signal for her, right? That's right, and I did that at the beginning of the show. Oh, really? No, uh, just, a, just a nice smile with a wink. Oh, that was my signal to her. All right, good enough. Well, uh, now she's happy, we're all happy. You know the rules, Julia. You're 15 questions away from winning $1 million. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. And to help you win as much as possible, you have three lifelines left. 50-50, ask the audience. Finally, you can, of course, phone a friend. So if you're ready to play Julia Thomas, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. For $100, what is a common command given to a dog team pulling a sweat? Mush, crush, shush, nostalgia.
Well, 90% say it's smart.